I love WordPress, but an interesting thing about WordPress that's kind of funny after been working in web design for 15 years is that I can pretty much 95% of the time, I can tell whether a website is WordPress by just first looking at it for the first time. I'll pull up a website and I'll go, yeah, that looks like WordPress. I can just tell the structure and the feel of a WordPress website. And it's really interesting. I'll look, I'll pull up the code source. There's a way to look at the code source. So you can actually right click and click view page source. And then you can go through the code and I can tell what type of website platform you're running, whether it's a Wix, a Squarespace, a Shopify, a WordPress, if it's a flat HTML, if it's a bootstrap, there's a lot of different types of structures of websites and you can always figure them out through looking at the code. But before I get to the source code, I usually can just tell, like I said, about 95% of the time, I'm like, oh, that looks like WordPress and sure enough, it is WordPress. So I just think it's kind of funny. That doesn't mean that WordPress is necessarily bad. There's pros and cons, uh, it's just that there is a certain structure or style or feel to a WordPress website uh, that I can usually tell. But WordPress is the best. It's, that's why there's 45% of all the websites in the world are running WordPress. It is the largest market share website platform compared to any else. The rest of them are much, much smaller and it is open source and you own the database, you own the data. That's why it's so much better than a Squarespace or a Wix, which they own that website. So. If you ever want to sell your business or license your business idea and you want to go to an intellectual property attorney and you want to map the intellectual property of your website to your business, you will not be able to do that with a closed platform like a Squarespace or a Wix or a Shopify or a BigCommerce. Those companies own your website. You don't own the website. So if you try to, let's say you have a Squarespace site and you're like, well, I just want to move. I just want to take it with me and go somewhere else. I don't want to be at the Squarespace company anymore. Too bad, you got to rebuild all over again. WordPress, you can take your website with you. You own the website, you can take it anywhere you want. So that's why I love WordPress, but I think it's kind of funny. I can always tell whether it's WordPress or not. So this is Joe Fair with Skypoint Studios. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I'll catch you on the next one.